Actually, uh, I wasn't planning on starting this video in here. I came, this is, uh, we're in a mall, and I came in here just to get some cash because this is where the closest ATM was. But um, I saw some really cool, interesting looking, oh, oh no, go on the right way, sorry. I saw some interesting looking claw machines, and I love claw machines. So I got $2. We're gonna go see if we can win anything. If not, we will continue outside to Chinatown, which is what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna go explore some Chinatown, get some food, and we'll see. We'll see what we see. Uh, definitely wanna get some souvenirs too, but check out this mall. It's pretty big. It's in the heart of uh, Chinatown. These are the vending machines, uh, not the vending machines, excuse me, claw machines I was talking about. Just pretty cool looking. So, like I said, oh, for those of you who have never seen one before, this is a uh, Singapore $2 bill. Uh, they don't have $1 bills, they only have $2 bills, so, oh, wait a minute, how do we get change? Bills. Is it going here? Oh, yep, okay. Whoops. I was... All right, so we got two tokens. I'm pretty sure that's enough for two different games. So let's see what we want to play. Uh, they also have these like really small miniature machines, which are pretty cool. They have like some cars in there. I don't know. Let's see. These kids seem to be playing the small ones, so let's see. Excuse me. Right, now let's go after a big one. Let's go after. Let's go see if we can get a Pikachu. Oh, this guy looks to be the easiest, right? Close. All right. Well, we moved them. Let's go again. Oh! Oh! So close. <laughs> All right. You guys want to give it a try? No. Right. See you. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we gave it our best shot. Maybe it's rigged, who knows, but it was still fun and we almost got a prize. So we're gonna head out here, out of the mall. And I actually saw a really cool vending machine out here. I'm gonna have to try it. It looked like it was a, uh, a fresh orange juice machine, which you definitely don't see that, at least not where I live in the US. So if they do have it anywhere, it's not near me, but this is this is the uh, fresh orange juice machine for only two dollars. It's not bad. So it looks like you have some oranges inside, and there's a contraption that maybe squeezes them. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Let me just uh, pull out. Uh, hold on. I might have to cut this to get to my phone. One nice thing, though, at least it, it accepts a. Uh, Except, accepts credit cards, which is always nice. I don't have to pull out the cash. Alright. So it looks like we got it. Now. Oh, juicing. Please wait. Oh. There we go. I think there's a... Is there an orange in there yet? I don't know how this works, but... Looks like there's a cup down there. Please, oh, did it already? It didn't. What? Wait a minute. Oh, did we just? 
Oh no! It didn't give us any juice. It's an empty cup. We just keep losing today. Oh wait! Now there's juice in it. I am so confused. Okay. Alright, well, I didn't exactly get to see how that happened because I opened that door and there was no juice in the cup. I looked back up, said there was an issue. I looked back down and there's juice. Oh, and that is fresh orange juice for sure. It's cold and it's refreshing. So yeah, two dollar orange juice from a vending machine. All right, we are a few blocks away from the heart of Chinatown. So I'm gonna cut it here, but I will see you guys when we get there. Welcome back guys, we aren't quite there yet, but I figured you guys might want to see just walking around the city. I don't know if that interests you or not, but we're gonna, we're gonna film our walk there. We got some cool little shops over here. Yeah, so my hostel is in Chinatown. I walked around a little bit, but uh, today I want to get some souvenirs. I want to need a magnet for my magnet collection. Uh, I got to get one from every city. So today we are going to get our Singapore magnet and see what else the market has to offer. Let's see what's down here. Alright guys, this kind of looks like where some of the action is. Let's see if we can find our, what we're looking for. Now this place was, I was here actually yesterday and they were still having the mid-autumn festival but I believe yesterday was the last day. So it's a little, a little bit quieter. I wish I had filmed yesterday but it is what it is. I was experiencing it with a couple friends so got some fruits. And this is this is durian, right? No. This is durian, right? Durian. Durian. So, for those of you who don't know, durian is a fruit from Southeast Asia, and it is a very, very smelly fruit. Um, they actually have signs on the on the MRT, the like subway system here. I say you can't bring durian onto it because it smells so that bad. A lot of people like it, a lot of people hate it. It's kind of like Vegemite, I guess, for Australia. But, uh, let's see some magnets. Let's see if any of these. Uh, I really hope this, uh, I hope the song is not, uh, copyrighted. <laughs> I haven't run any, into any issues with that yet, but let's see. Um, let's see, I kind of like this. What do you guys think? Oh, you can't tell me, but... Oh, this is cool. These are like, uh, they change when you move them. Like, I don't know if... Can you see that? That's interesting. I've never seen a magnet like that before, actually. Let's see what this one is. Oh, it's like night and day. I think we're gonna go with this one. This one's, I like this one. It's simple. It has all the main big things in it. Sorry, so let's go grab this. Excuse me. Hello. Can I just get this? How much is it? Three dollars? Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. My mom. Let me just get. Alright, just had to make sure that got into the bag. Don't want to lose that. Alright, let's just look around Chinatown, see what we see. It's a really cool place, there's restaurants everywhere. Uh, there's people hanging out, it's like a... 
Got another little shop with the uh, bags. Ooh. They do have postcards. I wanted to get a postcard too. Forgot about that. All right, let's see what, which one we want. It is one for 60 cents. Wow, that's, that's really cheap. You want a New York City postcard, it's probably gonna be like $5. You know what? I don't really, I don't really love those. I'm not just gonna buy it so I can get one. So we're gonna keep, keep exploring. If I see something that I like, then I'll go ahead and grab one of those, but the market continues. Oh, there's some birds. So I remember this, too. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hey, hey, that's not nice. You don't really hurt though. Okay, I don't think he likes. I don't think he likes being pet guys. I actually saw. I think I saw. I, I saw a different set of birds the other day, and uh, they actually enjoyed getting like their little head scratched. So it was cute, but. He didn't seem to like that, so. We got another little shop. Uh, and this is, this is dirt room, guys. This is the outside of it. It's like a really spiky, wow, that actually kind of hurts. It hurts a lot more than the burn. <laughs> But it's also, like, I really want to try it, but it's so expensive. It's like $38 just for, like, one of these, basically. And you either love it or you hate it. And I really don't want to waste almost $40 on one of these and then end up not liking it. So maybe they tend to only sell it in bigger quantities, but maybe if we end up seeing a, a place that has a sells it in like smaller amounts I'll get some and try it but it's so expensive for for if you don't um, like it hello hello you have a sugar cane sugar cane huh? can I get a, a sugar cane with uh, ice okay can I see how you put it in? Like yeah. into the thing? Okay. Never mind. You can. We do, we do. Huh? No we video? Do. Take your video, yeah. Oh, okay. So you just like squeeze yeah. it. It's like fresh. Fresh for you. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Come on, take my. You want the sign in? You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're in Singapore, come get a uh, sugar cane juice from here. Yeah. And it's uh, it's two fifty. Yeah. Okay. You've changed for a fifty by any chance? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, sugar cane, sugar cane, coconut shake, coconut Thank ice cream. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, very good. All right, guys. We got our sugar cane juice. I've seen this all over the place, and I've been really dying to try it because, as you saw, they crush it right in front of you, so it's extremely fresh. I guess just like that orange juice, but that was from a vending machine. All right, let me just find a place to put this down so I can pop. I can pop the straw through it. It was actually really cool. They had a, uh, a machine in the back. I guess if you drink boba, they do these a lot too in the U.S., but I don't, I've never seen one. Um, but they had a machine in the back that seals like this plastic lid on it. Um, so you just poke it through. And it just... All right, there you go. Here we go. There we go. All right. 
sugarcane juice in Chinatown. Oh, it's a Chinatown complex. This is a, uh, it's like a hawker center. Maybe we'll go in here and get some food, guys. Maybe this will turn into a set of a market video because I didn't see much that I wanted to get. Maybe we'll turn this into a, uh, a hawker center video. All right, oh, gotta try the sugarcane juice though. Sorry? You buy it. This one, $50. Oh, oh my God. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I, I trust you. Thank you. you want to pay this for $50. No, we cannot. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Wow. I am, I am so dumb. So I gave them, for the sugar cane, I gave them a $50 bill and it was two fifty. dollars Sorry, $2.50. And I forgot to wait for my change. So the lady literally ran after me, tracked me down, and gave me my change back. That was so nice of her. She did not have to do that because I completely forgot, didn't even realize that I didn't take my change. Um, so that was really nice of her. But here we go. We're gonna try the almost $50 sugar cane juice. Oh, that's really good. Sorry. All right, so we're in the Hawker Center now. And we're just gonna we're gonna look for the line. That's how you do it here. Look for the line where the locals line up at, and that's where you get food. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I wonder what this is for. No, that's a long line right here. Oh, it looks like it's dumplings. Yeah. That's cool. These things... Sorry. I keep running into people and saying sorry a thousand times, but these places are massive and they have so many different options. Chicken and rice. Okay, maybe, maybe I do want to see what this line is all about. Maybe it's worth the wait. Sorry about that, guys. The uh, camera overheated again. I don't know why that keeps happening, but all right. So I looked at the menu, and it looks like it's a dumpling place. So I guess we're gonna get dumplings because. This line cannot lie. So we're just gonna wait in line. And then I'm assuming these are probably gonna be the best dumplings of my life. Because, well, we're in Singapore. Alright, guys, so I just placed, I hope you can hear me, there's a fan right there. I just placed my order. I got a order of the steamed mini buns and then an order of the spicy wonton. So, I don't know if you can see it, but that one, and then that one. And uh, it looks like they make everything fresh, so it's gonna be really tasty. The line hasn't been too bad. I think I've been here maybe like 10, 15. Sorry, maybe like 10, 15 minutes, so not crazy. And I'm really excited. It looks like this place also has um, a Michelin star rating. It's pretty cool. I know a few of these, a few of the Hawker Center stalls have that. I actually had lunch at one yesterday that had like a star, but this one has a, a Michelin sticker on it. So I'm not sure if that's a star, but it's like that red circle up there. We got these three in front of us, and then after that, it's us. So if you take a look, we got the Michelin street food, Michelin sticker. They're making these by hand back there, like. They got the dough machine to the right, right there. They slide the dough in, they pull it out in little circles, and then these guys just fill them up with delicious meat. Machine is 
popping out the circles. So I gotta try some spicy stuff. I just hope it's not too spicy and <laughs> leads to a, a bathroom trip later. Hopefully not. All right, looks like we're up next. So we're just gonna grab our tray, put that down, put my drink down. Spicy chili. Yeah. Mm. Alright, and now we are up next. Okay. Oh, we gotta pay. How much was it? Yes, thirteen dollars. so much. Didn't forget my change this time, guys. Alright. So hopefully I can lift this with one hand. Okay, yeah. It's not too heavy. Alright. Now we just gotta, we gotta find a table, sit down, and enjoy what's probably gonna be, what I imagine is going to be the best dumplings I've ever had. Sugar cane juice. <laughs> that guy had like 10 sugar cane juices on his platter. There's tray. Oh. All right. Here we go, guys. these um, steam, steamed mini buns and I guess it's two and you know two layers and then we have the spicy one ton over here I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish all this if I can't well we'll see first taste Ooh, wow, these are I see one tons. But um so these are like I was talking to one of the uh, locals in the line and she uh she helped me to understand because I didn't, wasn't sure about the difference between dumplings and the uh, steamed mini buns. But it turns out it's merely just the shape and that also these kind of have some soup in them, so they're like soup dumplings. Um which funny enough, uh, me and my best friend, or one of my best friends from uh, home. Deanna, if you're watching this, talking about you. We uh, we always get the steamed dumplings from our uh, soup dumplings from Trader Joe's. And I'm sorry, but those <laughs> those you can't even I shouldn't even say because you can't compare those at all. These are amazing. 
I literally made like five minutes ago, right in front of my eyes. It's like, you get, it, there's some, like I said, there's some soup in it, so you bite down and it just like pops. It's like a flavor explosion in your mouth. It just overwhelms you. Let's try it. So I got this. This is, you can find this at pretty much every hawker stall. It's a very common dipping sauce. It's like a, a chili sauce. So it just adds some spice to it. We're gonna, we're gonna dip it in some, some chili sauce. Should have got like some chopsticks or something, but you get the point. Alright. <laughs> yeah, it's spicy, yeah. <laughs> some lady was just walking by right as I put that in my mouth. And it's basically instant spice. So <laughs> Wasn't, I mean, I, I was expecting to be spicy, but the broth alone just overwhelmed me. Alright, let's try some more of these. I gotta wash it down with some with what I have left in my sugar cane juice. Which, oh, I'm blind. She gave me chopsticks. So I can eat these with chopsticks. All right. But um, again, about the sugar cane juice. That lady, I literally walked like probably like the equivalent of two city blocks away, and I just completely forgot about my change. But she literally like she was running over to me, and waving me down. I wasn't really paying attention because I was filming, but. She ran all the way from her stall just to give me the money back, and she obviously didn't have to do that. I completely forgot, and I probably, I might have remembered later, but it would have been too late. So that just shows you how nice and you know, just honest, just pure honesty that these people have. It's, it's amazing. Just some of the friendliest people I've met. Some of the friendliest people I've ever met, honestly. Getting practice. Practice with the chopsticks. Getting better. My first day here, I couldn't check into the hostel until 3, 3 p.m. And I got to the hostel at like 10.30 a.m. So I had some hours to kill. So I went over to one of the hawker centers and I got like pork noodles or something like that. And the chops they gave me were like smooth plastic. So I was like trying to grab the noodles. Basically a big embarrassment because I look like probably the typical white guy. I had no idea how to use chopsticks, but I do. Those ones are just very slippery. All right, let's try this with less broth. Maybe I can stop myself from coughing to death. Much better. Oh man, that is so good. These are very similar. They're like the wontons, you know, probably the same meat in them. Just cooked in like a spicy broth or a spicy sauce when I was hunch puncher. And then they're topped with a nice, a solid amount of red chili pepper flakes. It's spicy, but it's a good spice. I, I don't know if you can tell yeah, I am sweating. <laughs> I mean, I was playing before because, again, it's another beautiful, sunny, but very humid day. Very humid day here in Singapore, as is every day. Them, but once I get them in there, 
can do the rest. Whatever you're looking for, highly recommend checking out that place. I mean, I, had no, I don't even know what it's called. I saw the name, but honestly, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I know I'll absolutely butcher, butcher it um, and just embarrass myself. So, you saw the sign. You'll see the line when you come, if you do come. It's amazing. It's worth the wait. get some of that that'll be that for uh, lunch today we got a big lunch I'm trying a bunch of different foods but I just really wanted to show you guys because I've uh, I've eaten at these places at least once every day since I've been here because it's amazing food delicious the quality is you know you saw them making those dumplings right in front of you so everything's super fresh and you know it's just super famous for here so wanted to show you guys a hawker center but we're gonna get some satay uh, i'll try that and then that'll be it delicious food blog well, okay looks like this place has some satay let me get chicken hello can i get um uh chicken satay the just the smallest amount like 10 right uh, 10. yeah okay just how much seven seven okay perfect Yeah. Sorry? Eat here. Yeah, eat here. I'm going to go. Ten, eating here. Four chicken. Can have half a lot. Okay. Okay. Right? Yes, please. Five minutes. How much? One rice. One rice. Okay, seven seventy. Okay, so that's a one dollar coin. I actually haven't seen a one dollar coin since I've been here. They usually just give me two fifty cent coins, so that's pretty cool actually. Is it okay if I film? Better come back. I can film? Yeah. Can I, is it okay if I like film? Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. So it looks like they just have Five minutes. the satay Five. just sitting right over there, and then when you order it, I go back, I look back there. Right, yeah. oh, okay, cool, thank you. So it looks like when you order it, they just put, start putting it on the grill. Hi, how are you? Hi. Sorry, just uh, interested okay. in how you guys cook it. Okay. It looks amazing, it smells so good. You must be hungry all like all day. I can't, yeah. Alright, so, um, so yeah, they're cooking that up. It'll be done in a few minutes. We'll try it out. Like I said, people are so friendly here, you know. And if you ask to go into a kitchen at a restaurant in like the US, we'll never let you do it. But they're super friendly here. And uh, if you're here, this is where I'm getting the uh, satay from. So definitely check it out. All right, I'll be back with you guys when the food's ready and I'll give you a, uh, a food taste test review. All right, see you in a bit. Sorry, really quick, food's not ready yet. But I also did just want to point out that this place, also Michelin. So that just tells you how good the food is at these uh, hawker stalls because um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, no, Singapore is the only place in the world where street food has Michelin stars. So it's amazing. And everything here is so like affordable too. Everyone always talks about how expensive Singapore is. Um, and it's true for like accommodation wise, but food no this is like seven dollars for well seven singapore dollars i'll put by the way i'll put all of the uh calculations in the video for how much this is in u.s dollars but um for seven singapore dollars you get 10 pieces 10 skewers of the meat the satay so amazing quality and value 
Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Okay. All right. Now we gotta go find a table again. Maybe if that same, our same table is open, we will go sit back there. Sorry. And, all right, cool. Same table is open. Hopefully uh, my camera doesn't overheat again. Bag down. smoky delicious flavor because they grill it over like the charcoal I think um, and it just tastes amazing then they give you this peanut sauce peanut sauce also you can see we'll get a little bit of that on there not a huge fan honestly of um of the pant sauce. I don't know. All right. All right, guys. I'm gonna finish this off. It's amazing, delicious. So definitely, if you're here, go to that. If you want satay, go there. I don't know if there's any better or any worse. To me, it tastes phenomenal. So if you're here, you can go there. Um, again, amazing value, amazing people, amazing food. All right, I'm gonna finish this off and then I'll see you guys for the end. All right, guys, we are out of the, uh, we are, sorry, we are out of the Hawker Center. Um, I love that place. I mean, it's just, it's pure chaos everywhere you go. The lines are crazy, people are friendly, and there's just food and smells everywhere that you don't really experience anywhere else. It's amazing. Everything smells delicious, everything probably is delicious, and it's also insanely affordable. So, like I said, I will put uh, everything in here, but you know, you get full meals for like $6, Singapore dollars. So, I don't know, like I said, I'll put it in there, but like maybe like $4 US or something. Um, but we're again making our way through Chinatown. We're gonna go back to our hostel. Um, maybe I'll show you guys what that's like in there. It's a pretty cool hostel, it's a capsule. Like, maybe everyone has their own little capsule. Um, but we're making our way through Chinatown, I must say, I should have recorded here yesterday because this whole street, like everything, is kind of deserted now, but the whole place was filled with, um, like food vendors, uh, people selling stuff, uh, it was because it was for the, uh, Mid-Autumn Festival here in Singapore that happens once every year. Well, actually, this was the first year that, um, that it happened in two years or three years because of COVID, they, they couldn't they had to do it virtually. So this was the first year that it came back and so it was a big deal. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't get any footage with that. So I was too busy enjoying it myself, which you have to remember to do. Because again, I love filming, I love making videos for you guys, but I have to, you know, take it, take it in myself and see, um, and just experience myself without having to focus on the camera, but yeah, I'll show you guys as much as I can. I believe we're actually going to come up on a, a temple, so I'll show you the outside of that. Um, don't want to go in, you have to take off like shoes and everything, and um, don't feel like doing that, but... Alright, we're coming up on that. Alright guys, so we're coming up on the uh, temple now. Um, like I said, not going to go in, but I'll show you guys from the outside. So we got 
the uh, giant door. There's some scaffolding going on right now because I think they're doing some construction on it. But you can take off shoes and leave them there. But yeah, there's a bunch of like uh, temples here and uh, mosques and stuff like that. I believe that was a uh, a Buddhist temple. I went in there yesterday, but nothing too crazy. And I don't think they want you filming in there, just you know, for respectful reasons. <coughs> All right, we're almost back to the street that my house is on. And I'll give you guys a quick tour of that, <clears throat> and then that'll be it for the video. But um, stay tuned because later on today, this will be in the next vlog. But um, me and my, uh, I made a new friend here. He's from Germany. His name's Nicholas or Nicholas, if you want to say it in the American accent way. But um, we're gonna be heading over to Sentosa Island and taking the uh, cable car. So. If you're interested in seeing that, definitely stay tuned for that vlog. That'll be coming out probably the day after this one. Um, but yeah, so here we are on Moss Street. This is a, definitely a cool little street. They have bars um, down the street and a bunch of different restaurants. Halfway down the street, getting closer, and then I'll, I'll bring you up into the room, show you my little capsule, and then we're just gonna end up there. I can't talk too loud in there because you know you never know if someone's sleeping or something. I don't want to you know, bother people because <laughs> there are 16. It's a 16-person room, so it's so it's quite large. Um, there's a lot of people there. And you don't want to bother them, so be quiet. Maybe uh, Nicholas will be there introduce you guys to him and then that'll be it for the vlog all right should be yes i see it we have one of these uh one of the cool vending machines like i showed you in the past is uh right outside my hostel actually hero hero I don't know, is that Hirohisa vending machine? I'm not sure, but he's got some water, soda, and then some things you don't see in the US like soybean, coconut juice drinks. Don't know what that is. That's apparently Red Bull here. I've never seen a Red Bull that looks like that, but that's Red Bull Plus. I'm not sure what the plus means. Maybe it has some extra caffeine in it. You have uh, some Nescafe and uh, whatever that is, Pokari Sweat. That Honestly, it doesn't sound that great, but it says Ion Supply, so I'm guessing it's like a, like something like a Gatorade or something, but, so that's the cool buying machine, and then this right here is the hostel, so that's the main entrance, but this is for, if you're a resident already, you can see it's got a camera, and you put your fingerprint, actually, and, oh, oh, hold on. And it's registered to your fingerprint, so you come up, enter right into the stairway, I'm on the second floor. Luckily not on the third floor, so I have to go up a whole another set go upstairs. Alright. So this is the bathroom. It's a little bit of like a you got oh well you can't see it, but there's a uh, a shower and a toilet in the same stall. So you can use the bathroom and take a shower at the same time if you want. And then you just got a couple sinks. And then you have to take your shoes off before you go in. Hi. Sorry. Here we are. This is Nicholas, everybody. He's the one we'll be going to Sentosa Island with. <laughs> and this is uh, this is my little capsule. So that's my bag, and uh, that's where I sleep. You got oh, let me just you got like a, a plug right there, a light. Yeah, a personal light right there. But yeah, this is oh yeah, and you have a TV right there that has headphones included. So you go, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> 
Yeah, so if you want to watch TV and have it be quiet, and then this is my locker, but I'm not gonna go in there. Oh, looking very good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for this one.